Hello Automators! Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Inovelli 4-in-1 sensor in Samsung SmartThings with a custom device handler and just what that does for you. The Inovelli 4-in-1 monitors temperature, humidity, motion, and light. It's also just so adorable <coughs> for a sensor. Before we do anything, we need to test our strength against a surprisingly sturdy mounting bracket. Let's start by installing the device handler. We'll put the link to the custom code in the description. Follow that link, copy the code, make a sandwich, eat the sandwich, then go to account.smartthings.com and log in. Go to My Device Handlers, hit Create New Device Handler. Tickle from code, and paste the code we've copied into the box. Hit Create, then Publish for me. Next, we need to change the device type because it's a generic Z-Wave sensor right now. Select your Inovelli 4-in-1 from the list. Hit Edit. Choose Inovelli 4-in-1. And hit Update. Next, we need to pair the sensor. In the SmartThings app, select Add Device. Choose Scan QR Code. Scan your device key code that was provided with the sensor. Wildly fling the sensor open and press the little button. The sensor will blink red until paired, at which point it will glow solid red menacingly for a couple seconds. We're all set up, let's take a look at what settings we have now. We can change the battery level that the sensor will alert us. For the motion sensor settings, we can now create the world's most boring rave by customizing the sensitivity and reset time. If you're concerned about your new club life making your home too hot and humid, you can modify the temperature and humidity sensors to let you know when things are heating up beyond what you want. You can also modify the luminance value at which the light sensor will trigger. If you're looking for more ideas of how to use Samsung SmartThings in your smart home, check out this playlist. Thank you for watching.